Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to share my interview experience with Google for security consulting role. So this position is basically for a Google Cloud team. So there is a company called Mandiant. I think most of you already know that. So the Mandiant has been acquired by Google and uh, the Mandiant's primary business, business was to provide security consulting services to different companies. Different companies in the sense, there are startups, enterprise companies, uh, big banks, and a lot of other businesses. So this Mandiant was acquired by Google Cloud. So um, if I was successful in the interview, I would have been working there and I'll be doing security consulting job. That means I'll be performing red team operations, uh, for different clients of Mandiant, which is Google Cloud, anyways. Okay. So now, so it, it, this has happened about an year ago. So it's a technical recruiter from Google reached out to me on LinkedIn. So at the same time, I was preparing for OSCP exam, which was just a few days away. After submitting my application, I did not get immediate response. Okay. So I got the reply from the HR like one or two months after my OSCP completion actually. Uh, so, so that's what the happened during the uh, interview process. That's how the recruiter has been connected with me. So the initial connect with the recruiter was incredibly helpful. They provided an overview of the interview process, preparation guidelines and expectation. So this pre-interview preparation is something that sets the companies like Google apart as compared to any other company, including my uh, interview experience with Amazon. So my experience with Google was much, much, much better than my experience with Amazon. So that's the truth. Uh, there is a separate scheduling coordinator who would be scheduling your interview based on your availability and the hiring manager's availability. And the next thing is, so I'm going to tell you what's happening in the technical interview room where the hiring manager uh, going to ask you different questions. So basically here, there was no any technical talks or any much of technical questions. So I'm a experienced security consultant. So that means the recruiter or the hiring manager they did not want any technical details or technical questions to be asked during the interview because everyone knows the technical stuff nowadays like XSS, CSRF, SQL injections, uh, SS, SSRF. So they want to strike, I want to go to strike the point of consulting role, which means basically I should be managing multiple security consulting project like a red teaming project for different clients i should be able to suggest uh, what kind of security services i should provide to the company for example if there is a startup okay is there a team operation applicable for the startup or is there a team operation applicable for only the big enterprises or should they go with the pen testing for a startup so these kinds of trickiest questions were asked in the process in the round actually so uh, so I have answered my best based on my experience and my knowledge. The second question was like, uh, how would I get a project from a client? Okay. How do you approach a client and get a project? So how do I suggest the client like uh, your infrastructure lacks this security and I, we want to test your uh, security posture, current security posture and attack surface. So, this kind of stuff. So it's all about how do you convince the client, communicate to the client, uh, what type of assessment you choose. For example, will you choose vulnerability assessments or pen testing or red teaming? And he even asked about what is the difference between all these three things. Okay. Uh, and the next question. So how do you start a pen test for a web app? So, okay, you have a web app. So you log in with the web app, okay? And you, it has certain features okay so what is your approach what is your process how do you do so i i said some of uh, some of the some of based on the i mean i said some of the stuff based on my past experience so how did i do uh, pen test for uh, some of my clients 
uh, in my previous jobs. So some of, I have worked for a few Fortune companies, Fortune 100 companies. Uh, so I just say the same process I have followed there. And the, another question uh, came up, like, uh, uh, so, so in case if the client does not uh, understand your bug, I mean, how do you explain the criticality? How do you uh, make them realize this is very important and you got to fix it quick? So how would you do that? So that sort of question also came during the process. So, so this is pretty much uh, what the interview has happened for one hour. So maybe they, the, the interviewers was not very, very much satisfied with my answers, it seems. But I have tried my best based on my past experiences and my skills. So once again, the interview was very great and whatever answers I provided are based on my experiences. And the second thing, um, the hiring manager gave me, like uh, he didn't give me any feedback directly, but he just told the answers, some of the answers I did not know exactly, like what is the difference between vulnerability assessment, penetration testing and red teaming. So I have opened vulnerability assessments under penetration testing, but the red teaming is something I haven't worked much, but I tried my best to answer that as well. But there is there are some stuff uh, I, I was missing when I am explaining the red teaming. So he gave me a very clear explanation of that. Okay. So this interview was happened in India, basically, and uh, this role is for uh, uh, Google India. I mean, it is for Google India, but uh, uh, you'll be working with uh, colleagues from uh, APJ region. I mean, Asia, Pacific, and uh, Japan. So these are the regions. So this is my pretty much experience about uh, uh, like uh, the interview experience. And I got another, I mean, I got another call from the recruiter who coordinated this interview. And the recruiter set me up with another call, video call actually. And she explained me like, uh, uh, I was not shortlisted for the position. So just, uh, yeah, that's what that's what happened. She just said what I was not shortlisted for the position. So she said some reasons like so and so. Uh, and I received a quick mail about the feedback over the interview and uh, they asked me about the survey. So now trust me, so my first uh, Google interview experience was very, uh, very surprising and very interesting for me because I haven't uh, interviewed in any company that cares about candidates this much. Like, uh, I mean, even Amazon, I would say. Amazon, I mean, it has been two years since I interviewed Amazon India. They, they did not did not care to provide an email. I mean, provide a feedback through the email. Okay, so this is what uh, sets Google standards from the rest of the companies, including this mom fan companies. So, so I, I was happy actually. It is not very easy to get it, get an interview with the companies like Google actually, which is the world's number one company. Maybe Apple, it's debatable, but still it is one of the uh, best in the world. So I would say. So um, let me know in comment like uh, what you liked about this video. So sorry for these hiccups and the uh, communication gaps. So I was not very much used to recording videos and voices on my own. So I am very much uh, comfortable in talking to other person, but I haven't recorded myself talking alone. So that's what make this video like a little bit, uh, little bit of, little, little bit of uh, lack of uh, smoothness in the uh, voices. Okay, thank you very much.